So I just got my mod kit uh, in the mail. Uh, I'm gonna mod my Mortal Kombat Legacy cabinet. Very excited. Go ahead and crack this open. Got lots of different uh, mod accessories in here. Lots of bubble wrap, which is good. So, I ordered a custom controller with a two player with a trackball in there. Um, I ordered um, custom LED buttons, all blue. Um, the mod kit with the new chip in there uh a boost up uh shims for the control panel uh a 19 inch lcd monitor and the whole kit that comes with so let's take a look uh what we have here looks like the controllers right here let's take a look wow awesome Controller with the trackball. Very awesome. We have a separate AC adapter unit and shims to uh, increase the height of the control deck so it's nice and flush with the sides. Looks like we have an audio adapter. Uh, my blue joystick panels and looks like the uh, Android uh, computer with the power. Custom amp. And the kick panel that goes up, custom kick panel uh, that mounts right underneath the uh, controller. Uh, the height's a little bit higher on it to accommodate um, the shims uh, after raising that up. And here is the 19 inch everything is packaged really well lots of bubble wrap which is good and it looks like they already have the audio unit uh, mounted on there and hooked up which is nice that'll save me some time also inch LCD very awesome looking forward to hooking everything up um, I previously did a video where I did the unboxing put this thing together all stock and now today I have everything modded up uh, everything cleaned up in there and I want to kind of just do an overview uh, show you everybody what I did to this cabinet and like I said, I, I'm new to this, so I'm leaving this video open to suggestions from people on what I should get uh, in the future as to getting more stuff, more ROMs, maybe a, maybe a different uh, uh, computer in there besides the one I got. And I just wanna do this video to kind of show you what I got going. So I have everything hooked up on this remote control right here. And uh, let's go ahead and fire it up. I have it kind of Christmased out right now um, for the holidays. 
I'm running the X96 Air uh, Android, uh, the em Emulogic on there, I believe it's called, or Emutech, yeah, Emulec <clears throat> uh, OS on there. Uh, and I got about probably 6,000 games or more on here, all retro. Um, it's a pretty awesome setup. Um, I have all custom control panel here. I did all LED blue uh, buttons. I have a trackball here right in the center. Um, <clears throat> I have some other custom equipment on there too. Um, this was just one of the things I got from the mod kit uh, is the amp and I have it all everything wired up and then I have my main coming out basically I've only cut this one tiny small hole in the back of the cabinet where the cord comes out everything else I have double-sided tape in this cabinet so and it's all hooked up on a, a switchable outlet So, for the games, there's quite a lot on here uh, running this Android. So, I have about 1,763 arcade games. Uh, MAME, uh, pretty much dra uh, the Dragon's Lair and all those, the video type systems on the Daffine. Uh, the Atari 2600, Atari 7800, uh, setup options, TurboGrafx-16, NES, Game Boy, uh, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System, the Genesis, Game Gear, uh, Genesis 32X, Dreamcast, Naomi, uh, Neo Geo, PlayStation, Art of Fighting, and these are some of the subcategories that the way this is set up. Um, it's got multiple different games in there under these categories also. Um, quite a few different uh, options here on this thing. It, it's really awesome. Um, <clears throat> the games play really good. It automatically recognizes when I... Uh, um, it recognizes both of the uh, controllers right away pretty much on most games. I've had very few games not load on there. Uh, they have a lot of four-player options, but I only also uh, obviously have two controllers, but a lot of the games on there are two-player too. And the only issue I've had with this is trying to load up uh, different menu options and stuff, trying to get into kind of tweak the custom menu settings and stuff on there. But uh, I've learned some of the hotkeys or whatever, but I... I ordered this mod through Arcade Mod Up, and I've they've gave me a few different uh, helpful hints on how to get things set up, but they never really went into detail on how to get into the menus or whatever, and to change uh, the way some of these display here on the preview or whatever. And but uh, I have figured out how to set my options. Like if I want to save to favorites, I hold both of these on a, on this menu to save a game again to. Uh, unsave it from favorites. I also know that when you're in the game, you can actually hold up and by holding the coin button at the same time, you can actually adjust the volume on this thing, which is huge because I wasn't sure when I put everything together of how I wanted to mount um, the amp because basically I mounted it right here so I have access to it up on the front just to reach around to turn it on, uh, up or whatever but technically I could pretty much set it at any level I wanted to put it inside the cabinet now that I found out that I can control the volume from the front joystick here so <clears throat> that's just some of the stuff I figured out on it but uh, the games play really good. It does have uh, a few issues playing some of the Dreamcast games. I have a little chop on that and the Naomi games or whatever. I have a few issues with that. But other than that, um, I think everything came together really good. And uh, I'll show you. I tied up all the wires real nice in the back of the cabinet. And I'll show you that too. All right. So here, I added a couple of lights in here. Um, here is my setup. I basically have just three or four cords that tie in that go right through the, the center hole that goes right to my amp. 
but everything else I've wired up super nice in there. Um, these nice wire wraps and everything. There's my X96. Um, I have basically everything running right into that power strip um, that feeds right out through that little hole on the back of the cabinet, but I've pretty much wired everything else there. My audio, my converter right here, and then I have everything tied in super nice in there. Um, uh, I'm happy the way it came out or whatever, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, my mod kit in there and how everything went together and Thanks for checking it out. Please hit uh, like and subscribe to any of Comp Extremes.